Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and welcome if you are new. And today we're here with my August TBR. Oh my god, I have been doing a TBR game for an entire year. I first did my pin and tail on the donkey August 2020. If you want to like have a flashback of very awkward young Rachel who was never in frame, then I'll link my original TBR game up above and down below for you guys. But beware, it's very, very cringy. I do want to mention before we get into the spins though, is that my book club pick for August, if you do want to take part, you still have time to join. If the book that I'm about to talk about sounds interesting to you, you can just ask me in the comments down below for the Discord link and I will give it to you and you can join in the book club but this month our co-host is M from A Little Writer M. She has currently stopped making videos but she is still very active on Instagram so I'll link her Instagram down below but she will be partaking in the live show at the end of the month and that book is A Half-Baked Idea by Olivia Potts. Every other month we do a non-fiction pick in my book club so this is the first non-fiction pick that we have for my book club because obviously it started in July. This book is basically a memoir about Olivia Potts. She says at the moment her mother died Olivia Potts was baking a cake. Bad she was trying to impress the man who would later become her husband. Meanwhile, 275 miles away, her mother was dying. And I think it's basically just about how she overcomes that and how she's baking to help her with the grief of her mother. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to get to this one. Me and Em picked it together. So if this interests you and you are able to get a copy, please feel free to join my book club and join a Discord link and read along with us. So this is the book that didn't kind of manage to get onto my TBR, but that's fine. It's a book I need to read anyway for Books and Me. So yeah. Without further ado, let's hop into the first spin. Okay, my challenge prompt for this month is gonna be, let's hope it's not four spins again. We'll go, for, if it is, I think I might have to switch it out. Oh, okay, no, it's not. It's double up. So on two of the prompts that I get this month, I am spinning five times because I didn't get any punishments this month because I managed to finish my TBR. Yay, and fit all the prompts from last TBR. So double up basically means the out of the five prompts that I pick this month, I have to pick two of them and double them up to create one book. So it's one book less on my TBR, but it might be a bit of a challenge to try and find two prompts that suitably fit one another. So yeah, here goes. So the prompts are on donkey. Let's just go for our first spin. So spin one, take one. One, two, three. Was a miss. Yay. This is always a brilliant start to the month when I get a miss on the first try. But a spin one, take two. One, two, three. I'm trying to be select here. Where the hell am I going? Where is that? Okay, that was a miss again. And obviously now with my kind of new rules, if I go have three tries that are misses, then I have to add another spin. So hopefully I can get it on this go. So spin one, take three. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> um. Okay, this has never happened before. Uh, I have to add a spin. So we are doing a six spins this month. Hmm, great. <laughs> so, still, take one. Try four. One, two, three. Finally, just about, it landed on the head, but that extra spin, that basically just goes against my challenge prompt of double up. Um, but let's see what is under the head. It was so close to the ear, but it is resting on the head. We have, ooh, a prompt we've had before, but quite a cool one. And that's different spine to cover. The first spin prompt got me a different spine to cover. So for this one, I picked the tie, this time will be different by Misa Shuriga, Shuriga. I don't exactly know, but this book is kind of recent onto my TBR and I've been wanting to read it for a while now. It's so floppy, I love it. I love it. Um, I don't really know too much what this is about. This is basically about our main character, CJ, who is 17 years old and she's really struggling to live up to her mum's like A star ambitious kind of like student daughter type role model she has set out for her daughter. Um, she's just perfectly happy working with her aunt in their flower shop. But I think one day they have to sell the flower shop to her rival possibly, 
They have to sell it to the McAllisters who swindle CJ's family and many others when Japanese Americans were sent to internment camps during World War II. Soon a rift threatens to spin to CJ's family, her friends and the entire North Car California community. And for the first time CJ is ready to step up and fight. So this is like a contemporary historical fiction, I believe. I'm intrigued. This one definitely piqued my interest and it's also an audiobook on Scribd. Definitely kind of an option for this book. I might like listen to the audiobook and read along. But yeah, I'm really excited to get to this one. A new prompt is in Donkey, so let's go for spin two, take one. One, two, three, one. What is it today? I keep missing. Ah, okay. <laughs> Spin two, take two. One, two, three. Not gonna lie, I kind of cheated on that one because I didn't want to get a miss. But, you know, it's my game, my rules. <laughs> so what is under the head for prompt number two? Which one did we literally just switch out to? Oh, okay, we got a favorite author. The next prompt we got uses up my double up prompt and that is iBooks book. And the prompt I'm gonna double it up with is favorite author. So for this one, I'm gonna be reading All the Lonely People by Mike Gale, yay. I am so excited. I've been wanting to obviously read all of Mike Gale's backlist and this is just kind of like the next book I need to read from him. And this is on my iBooks account. I can give you proof. There it is, it's on my iBooks account. I'm very, very excited to read it. And obviously he is one of my favorite authors. So this prompt and double up worked actually quite well. I was scared when I got double up to kind of what book I was gonna be able to read, but this one kind of fitted really perfectly. All the Lonely People by Mike Gale kind of follows our main character, Herbert, I want to say is his name. And his daughter has just migrated over to Australia and they have weekly phone calls and during those phone calls, he says to his daughter that he's fine, that he's living really well, that he's not missing her, when in actual fact, that is complete opposite of how he's feeling. He really misses her, he's really struggling. And she also says that she's having a brilliant time, that she's all good, but she's also missing him, I believe. And I think it's just about kind of like family connections. If you guys know me, I love books about and that center around family. So I cannot wait to read this one. I have very high expectations. So fingers crossed, this is kind of like a five-star prediction for me. So I really, really hope I enjoy it. I have a feeling that it's gonna pull at my heartstrings because all of my Gail's books do. So the prompt has been switched out. So spin three, take one. Let's hope I don't miss again. One, two, three. Where am I? Oh my fucking God. <laughs> I think it's because I'm doing this at 7.30 in the morning. Uh, the dedication guys. But <laughs> spin number three, take two. One, Two, three. I think that could have been four spins. Where the fuck am I? Oh, am I by the lamp again? This is the point of the video where I start feeling sick. <laughs> but it's the head again. I can't help it. Um, it's always the head, but it is what it is. What did we just switch the prompt out to? Oh, fuck's sake. We have highest rated. And the next prompt we got was highest rated. And I don't like this prompt, but uh, we're gonna go back to Goodreads and see which out of my physical TBR, the books that are physically in my possession in my bedroom, which one has been highest rated by the fellow Goodreads community. So let's go back to Goodreads, record my screen again so we can get my reaction together. Um, go to my books. Go to physical to be read. Highest. Is it gonna be average rating? I think average rating. What is it? What is it? What is it? I had a feeling it was gonna be The Mask Falling, but I haven't reread The Song Rising yet. So I'm gonna pass that and go down to the next one. And that is The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dare. I don't think that's how you pronounce her name. Obviously, I do own a physical copy of it, and that is this book. Um, <laughs> I don't know what this book's about either. This is, TBR was not kind of what I was expecting or whatsoever, but that's what I love about TBR games. Inside every girl is a louding voice, a voice to speak up for herself and for the girls who came before her and for all those that will follow. As a third wife in a small Nigerian village, 14-year-old Adui is expected to fade into silence, but Adui will not keep quiet. She's smart, funny and curious with an infectiously joyful spirit. And despite adversity waiting for her every turn, she gets 
She is set on getting an education no matter the cost. Determined not to settle for her fate, Adui embarks on a journey from her village to the wealthy enclaves of Lagos, a journey that will change her life, and if you listen closely, possibly yours. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to get to this one. I did kind of pick it up on a whim because I'd heard Jess from Books Past Bedtime really, really enjoy this book. Yeah, and it sounded interesting at the time. I've kind of put it off ever since, but this is why I love TBR games, because you just have to put books on your TBR that you kind of might not have got around to as soon as you have done because of the TBR prompts. So this is for highest rated. Obviously, Mask Falling did hit the top rated, but I haven't reread the song Rising yet, and I do want to read reread that one before I get to the Mask Falling, so I did just skim past that. But it's fine, this one is really interesting as well, and I'm excited to get to it. Okay. Let's try and not get the head again. The prompt has been switched out. So we are on spin four, take one. One, two, three. Where am I? Hey, I got the ear. Well, and that was first try as well, which is very uncommon this TBR round. Um, what have we got? Oh, okay. Um, we haven't had this prompt before, and that's a Goodreads feed. Next prompt we got was a prompt that I've never ever got before, and that is Goodreads feed. And it basically means I have to go onto Goodreads, so I'm gonna do it with you guys. And the first book I see that I recognize on Goodreads feed, I have to read for that month. Um, I'm scared to say the least. I'm gonna record my screen for you guys so you can see with me. But we are on my Goodreads. So no, I won't be reading Shadow of the Wind. Ooh, okay. Second first impressions by Sally Thorne could be an option. I haven't even read The Hating Game, but that is her newest release, I believe. What's the next one that I recognize? I've read that one, that one. Permanent Record is the sequel, so I'm not gonna read that. Malibu Rising. And I think... Or Pet, okay. I'm gonna see which of those I can get easy access on, whether that's Scribd or something else. But I have a feeling it could be Pet. What was the other one? Pet, Malibu Rising, or Second First Impression. So I'm gonna see which one is on Scribd. I have a believe I have a feeling Pet is on Scribd. This is definitely not a book I was expecting to pick up this month, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Pet is on Scribd. Yeah, it is. The audiobook's on Scribd. Okay, so for Goodreads feed, I'll be reading Pet by Aquaki Amezi. I want to say is how they pronounce the author's name. I have no idea what this book is about, apart from it's kind of like a magical realism book and it has the main the main character is transgender so i'm very very intrigued to read it it hasn't really been on my radar but i'm not i don't feel bad for the fact that this is on my tbr this month like i'm actually quite excited to read it so i've just saved it on my script account that was fun wasn't it that was brilliant i enjoyed that <laughs> okay the prompt has been switched out once again so we are on spin five take one meant to be my last spin for the month but we did get a miss previously, so we have to do six spins now. But we're on to five, take one. One, two, three. Oh, I'm really starting to feel dizzy. The head, again, it's like I like doing head. Ha <laughs> ha, lol. <laughs> um. Oh, okay, fun. UK setting. The next prompt we got was UK setting and for that one I have picked a really anticipated release and that is The Island Home by Libby Page. One of my first videos on my channel was reading The 24 Hour Cafe by Libby Page. So if you want to see that video, once again, a very newbie me, I'll link up above and down below for you guys. But this is her latest release. It came out a few months ago now and I've only just managed to get a hold of it. Look how pretty it is and it's got blue sprayed edges and I actually picked this up in Waterstones because I was flicking through it and I noticed it had two dust jackets and I was like, when's that ever gonna happen again? So I picked it up. <laughs> this book basically follows two main characters, 
Lorna and Alice and Lorna moves to the Scottish island of of Kip when her and her daughter kind of need a change from the setting of London and then Alice is already in Kip and she's a yoga instructor and I think those two come together and form a friendship and help heal each other for some reason. I don't really know the synopsis is a uh, very vague but I'm intrigued nevertheless. I really, really enjoy Louis Page's writing. I love how she writes characters so I'm very very excited to get to this one and I'm glad I'm able to get it onto my TBR. Switching the prompt out for the final time. If you can't see I just pick a load of prompts out of this mug here. Go for this one. We need to switch it out. Put that in there. And hopefully, for the final time, spin six, take one. One, two, three. Woo! I don't know where I am. And Miss, I'm really starting to feel dizzy, but not as dizzy as last month, because if you saw last month's TBR, you know. I had to spin four times before aiming for the donkey. So that is a miss. Spin six, take two. One, oh, two, three. I didn't even get on the piece of paper. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. If I don't get on this one, I'm adding a spin. <laughs> I don't, oh, I don't want to read seven books this month. Uh, let's hope I get it on this go. <laughs> so spin six, take three. Ah, I'm scared. I don't even want to start spinning. Okay, let's go. One, oh, two, three. Ha, 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 ha. I may have bent donkey's hair, but I did get the head again. <laughs> I feel like I need to do something to make sure I don't always get the head because it's getting a bit boring even for me. Um, it's just a fun way to pick my TBR at the end of the day. But what is under the last prompt? This is the last prompt, guys. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. We have iBooks book. Editing Rachel here. I just wanted to say, obviously, for iBooks book, I am going to be reading All the Lonely People by Mike Gale, but that featured earlier on in the video because I used it for my double up prompt. So for my double up prompt, I have managed to fulfill favourite author and iBooks book with All the Lonely People by Mike Gale. Back to the video. There we have it. That is my August TBR. Not what I was expecting whatsoever because we also have All the Lonely People by Mike Gale as well as Pet by I Quakey and Mezzi. So this definitely wasn't the TV I was expecting, especially because it is August, it is the height of summer and I wanted to get more like summery, cute, romance, chick lit kind of books on there. So um, <laughs> this will be interesting. Can I read them all? Will I sway off my TBR? This TBR pile does look likely to sway because um, we'll see. But the thing is with Goodreads feed as well as highest rated, I can't sway from those books. So it's going to be a very interesting reading month. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my weekly reading vlogs because I will be continuing those into August. So yeah, interesting. So there we have it. That is my August TBR. That was a chaotic journey. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below to see future content from me. I do anything from fun, wacky TBR games, weekly reading vlogs, themed reading vlogs as well as book recommendations. I kind of have it all on this channel. If you like bookish content, you're gonna like my channel. Little self promo there, but make sure you subscribe so you never miss any more future content. Comment down below if you think I'm gonna stick to this TBR. Which books are you reading in August? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.